this morning. It was still dark when I left there this morning. But uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, the last couple of days I haven't been making very interesting videos or whatever. And uh, there's a reason for that. And the reason is uh, my daughter has been in the hospital, so that's been a bit difficult on me. And, uh, uh, she's just in the local hospital there at uh, Steinbeck and uh, yesterday evening the doctor had said to my wife that uh, she's not getting any better or anything like that so they're planning on uh, transferring her to uh, Winnipeg uh, Children's Hospital. Well that's kind of sad for me you know. It, uh, it's always hard see your child being in a sixth, uh, sixth state and uh, being in the hospital. And, uh, for those of you that uh, haven't seen my daughter, you can go down in my uh, down in my videos there and you'll uh, you'll see the one video where we went to Kenora, Kenora, Ontario. Watch that video and you'll see my daughter. She's uh, she's completely in the wheelchair and stuff like that. She has uh, Grisali syndrome, and it's a rare, very rare uh, disease. Uh, very few people have it in the world. And, uh, but she got, she got diagnosed with it a couple of months ago. So we finally figured out what her uh, her disease was. And now we know. There isn't really any treatments for it, and what it really does is uh, her brain in the, in the back of the, of the head. When they do a uh, CT scan or whatever, it looks like it's uh, completely dry, like there's no blood in it or anything like that. So, and that's the part that controls your body, like, like your walking and everything. So, so she can't walk, she can't talk just like a baby. She makes noises, she, you know, she, she can indicate when she's happy or she's not happy, but that's about it. And, uh, she recognizes people, but, uh, yeah, so it's sad to see her having to suffer like that, especially on uh, me and my wife, it's, it's really hard. Going downhill, downhill. Look at this, going between the mountain right now. It's not open the mountain up here. Uh oh, Corridor, what are you doing? Oh boy. You know, I can't stop that quickly, especially going downhill, you know that, eh? Oh well. Speed warning. I like to be on front of the trucks all the time, you know. And on there on the left, we got the lake up there. Beautiful sceneries up here, that's for sure. Well, that's just how I look at the big lake up there. I'm parked over here because we got construction going on up here. Got a stoplight up here, so we have to stop. But, anyways, figure I'd just show that to you. Well, guess what? I just stopped at the uh, Tim Hortons. Got me a coffee. Yeah! Need to wake up. So we can get some miles behind. Ah, that is some good stuff. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm having one for you guys. If you guys don't have it, especially the ones that live in the United States, you ain't gonna have this shit. Oh well. Lucky me, right? Oh well, we'll make a try, make it home to, uh, tonight. I should be in uh, Winnipeg tonight. And uh, I'll see uh, how my daughter is doing. They were talking about bringing her to Winnipeg uh, Hospital yesterday, so I'll see if that's going to happen today or not. But uh, my wife had asked them to try and wait till tomorrow, then I would be home and then it'd be an easier process. But 
we'll see what happens. I sure hope she gets uh, gets well soon. But just remember, if you guys are watching this, this is a, a, a week after today that you are watching it. So just keep that in mind. I'll keep you guys uh, keep you guys up to date on. Uh, What's going to happen if she gets home or whatever? I'll post it on Facebook, or Twitter, or Google Plus account if she gets home or whatever. But, uh, anyways, just getting rolling there. And, ah, looks like we get a big oversize up here. Even the cops have to, uh, I guess, have to follow him or whatever, escort him to wherever he needs to go. This highway is dedicated to Terry Fox. And uh, they got a memorial just on the road here. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, show that to you guys. It's on Highway 17. And it is just before uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario. On the It's on the east side. There's the sign. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you should be able to see it. We got a rest area up here slash memorial park for him. Right up here on the, on the right here, and just uh, just on the road here on the hill, they uh, they have his uh, statue up there. I don't know if you want to get the get to see it today, but I think we should be able to see it. Should be just around the curve up here. And, uh, we'll see. But yeah, he uh, he was a uh, very strong uh, character man. So yeah. Looks like right up here on the right, yeah, right up there on the on the hill. I don't know how much of it you will be able to see, but right there up on top of there, they got uh, got a statue of himself. And uh, well, so we're about uh, seven kilometers away from Thunder Bay, and uh, we'll try and get it uh, get to Winnipeg as quick as we can. Now this on the right here, that is a nice sign. I like to see that kind of sign. That means welcome to Manitoba. Crossing border, entering Manitoba. Yes, that is right. That means that I am getting very, very close to home. Home sweet home is just around the corner. Well, not quite around the corner. But I got it go to Winnipeg, so that's another 170 mile, 170 kilometers. So it's just over 100 miles, probably 105 miles to Winnipeg, and then it's another 60 miles back to Steinbeck. So, but that's uh, getting closer and closer to home. Look at that, White Shell Provincial Park. That's where all the uh, big lakes are, and where we go fishing a lot and stuff like that. So. That's just around this area too, just just right on the Ontario borderline. But uh, anyways, uh, it's been a good day. I uh, gotten uh, good miles in so far today, and uh, so far as as far as I know, my daughter is still staying in Steinbeck Hospital. So that's uh, that's a bonus for us because. Uh, that way we don't have to drive back and forth to Winnipeg as much and uh, it's, it's less expensive for us. We don't have to drive as much and uh, my wife can just, you know, uh, go there for a little bit and then go home and do stuff at home a little bit. Go back there again and stuff like that. So that way it's, uh, it's a lot easier for us, you know. But, uh, anyways, I should be home tonight. That's always good. Alrighty. I am uh, probably about five minutes away from home right now. I dropped my trailer in Winnipeg already on the last little stretch home. So I'm going to go home and take me a shower and uh, probably go visit my daughter at the hospital yet and see how she's doing. But anyways, uh, going to go cut the show for today. And uh, just want to say thanks for everybody for watching, uh, watching today's show and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. So we'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.